Hey there, me again. Uh, got an email from Athena and she is asking, Hello Stu, do you have a tutorial you can share for inputting a PDF page into a Word document in SharePoint, please? This is a pretty specific sort of question. Uh, it's not something that I would do fairly often, but I'm sure that there are people out there that have a need to insert PDF pages into Word documents. Um, you, you've always been able to do it in Word on the desktop. Um, but this particular question is asking, well, how do you do it on SharePoint? And uh, I'm going to try and answer this for you, Athena. All right, here I am in SharePoint and I've got a Word document here and I'm going to open that fairly shortly. But the other thing that I've got is a PDF. And the place that I've got that PDF is on my, my documents on C drive. And it's this one here called Chromebook AUE. And this file I want to insert, it's just a one page PDF, and I want to insert that into my Word document, which was that one there. So how do I go about doing it? Uh, first thing we need to do is click on these three dots next to the file, and up here you've got open, and you can choose open in browser, but if you do that, know that there is no option to insert a PDF uh, via Word in the browser, Word 365 in the browser. Um, so you do need to have the desktop version of Microsoft Office and you do need to have the desktop version of Microsoft Word. So click on Open in App. It should launch Word, but it's launching and in importing this file from the SharePoint. So here is the actual file. Um, it's a, a couple of pages here. And what we want to do is insert a third page that has that PDF. So how do you do it? Um, just put your cursor somewhere towards the end of this. Uh, let's just move this out of the way. And I'll just hit an enter on the end. Come on, wakey wakey, there we go. Okay, just go down there. You can, if you want to, uh, go to insert and add a page break or whatever, but you don't really have to because this is a full page that's coming in and it should automatically jump in on the next page. So how do you do it? Let's go to uh, up the top here on the menus. You go to insert and the one you need from the insert menu is all the way over the side here, which says object. And when you click on there, it will give you this little menu. Now, actually, before I show that, that if you click on the down arrow here, there's a couple of different options here, but object is the one that you want. and Straight away at the top, the first one there is Adobe Acrobat document. There's a few other things that you could try and import. So there's a few different options there for importing different types of files, but it's Adobe Acrobat that you want. It'll say, well, where do you want to get it from? And this is the reason why it needs to be on the C drive because Microsoft Word is looking on the C drive. And it's that one there, Chromebook AUE. And what it's going to do is actually launch it in Acrobat. Um, your Adobe Acrobat program, it'll show it to you on the screen. But if you just close that, you don't need to do anything with it here. What you will find is that that page has been inserted into that Word document on SharePoint. So uh, auto save is on at the moment. So that's been saved automatically. I don't have to do anything else. I can just close this and go back to my SharePoint. Um, now, if you want to verify that it's there and it's in the cloud, uh, for everybody to access if you write uh, sorry if you click on the three dots and go to open and go to open in browser this time what you will find is word in the browser will launch and any second now you will see there's your first page there's your second page come on and there's the third page with the PDF uh, that's pretty much it so you've now got a PDF imported into Word, which is sitting on a SharePoint. Close that, um, and you're right to go. Hope that helped, Athena, and I'll see you in the next video.